From the two hemispheres of the globe, right, um, that we're on, as you can see here in the corner, upper left-hand corner, the moon actually appears completely upside down in comparison. So if you're in, like, uh, you know, uh, Southern America, South America, compared to Canada, the moon, if you take a picture of it, it's going to be the same image except upside down, right? Yeah. So... I can more or less uh, agree uh, on that because uh, the data show that here uh, we are in uh, South Africa and watch the moon now we jump over to uh, the north of uh, Poland well that's more or less uh, a flip of 180 degrees We can see this on uh, this data, we can see the moon phase. And this uh, we see uh, in the north uh, of Poland. So that's uh, 180 degrees. How can uh, something flip 180 degrees when the difference is only like uh, 105 degrees, 110 degrees? And this moon uh, flips 180 degrees. How do you explain that? Their rebuttal, the, the flat earth rebuttal to this. It can only happen if the two people in the two hemispheres are upside down in comparison to each other. Exactly. Now, this would work on a globe earth. Or it would work on a pyramid Earth. 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 This would work on a globe Earth. Uh. Or it would work on a pyramid Earth. 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 Here I am in my flat living room, heading over to the northern side, my northern hemisphere. Spinning back to the middle, where I have my equator that divides my living room in half. I continue south to the southern hemisphere, and we go back north to the equator. We look up, and there's our shill in the moon. Heading over north we turn around we look up at the moon and there's our shill in the moon looking right at us we come back down head past the equator south to the southern hemisphere once again and we look up and there's our shill in the moon upside down my living room must be a ball and not flat, according to some logic. Let's see how the moon flips on the southern and uh, northern hemisphere. I'm here in uh, South Africa. And I'm here in Poland at the same moment. This is a time difference of uh, plus one hour. So we take uh, an hour off from uh, Poland. The moon has an azimuth of uh, 88.9, let's say uh, 89. And here in South Africa, 
De moon even naar uh, Azië moet even 86. En het is just above the horizon. Just like in uh, Poland. Both locations looking at the moon. At the same moment. The moon. Here in South Africa. Have an azimuth of uh, almost 87. That was 87. Almost. Now let's move over to uh, Poland. To the northern hemisphere. This one uh, had an azimuth of uh, 89. But where is the moon? Oh wait. It's over there. He would see an uh, egg-shaped moon from his uh, position. Because you have uh, to be straight in front of it. To see a nice round circle. And not an egg. The moon have an inclination of 5 degrees above the equator, they say. I cannot uh, draw this moon up uh, here. Because then the azimuth uh, is getting uh, messed up. Of course. And uh, when uh, this moon starts to uh, flip, I don't see it. The dark part is still on uh, this side. It don't change uh, direction suddenly. Idiot! I want moon flip. From the northern and southern hemisphere. Huh? Round moon from this angle. Egg shaped moon from this angle. Huh? 180 degrees moon flip with an 105 degree angle. Huh? This would work on a globe Earth. Uh? Or it would work on a pyramid Earth. 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 Here I am in my flat living room, heading over to the northern side, my northern hemisphere, spinning back to the middle. Where I have my equator that divides my living room in half. I continue south to the southern hemisphere. And we go back north to the equator. We look up. And there's our shill in the moon. You can see only a nice round moon. When you're right underneath it. Not from an angle, like here, on the northern uh, hemisphere. And I don't even uh, talk about the size difference. This is recorded from above, so I don't uh, use the size. But you can understand uh, what you get if you uh, move away uh, 5,000 uh, kilometers from an object. It becomes smaller, like we see in uh, this picture. This is the northern hemisphere. 
and it's not round because you look at it uh, at an angle. It's egg shaped. I can't remember seeing a moon like this. We have to take it out of proportions. And this is uh, not what we do. The moon actually appears completely upside down in comparison. Hey, that's strange. There is certainly no up and down anymore. Don't you know, silly? There is no up and down in space. You idiot. You want to go up and down with me? Hold on, bitch. I put you down. Here, take this. <laughs> That's all, piece of shit.